Hi friends, welcome to TurboMath channel. In this video, we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. In the first question, we have 8 divided by 4 over 5, then times open parentheses, 2 plus 3 times 6 close parentheses. What is the answer of this question? Can you solve it? In this question, we have division, multiplication, parentheses, and addition. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations, which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations. And if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponent. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority. Also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. And when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. Inside these parentheses, we have addition and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication because the multiplication has higher priority than addition. 3 times 6 equals 18. Now we have 2 plus 18 inside these parentheses and 2 plus 18 equals 20. Now the question is 8 divided by 4 over 5, then times 20. Now we have division and multiplication. Because division and multiplication have the same level of priority, we start from the left and simplify the question. We have 8 divided by 4 over 5. To solve this part, we need to follow the KCF rule. K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. We keep the first number as it is, then we change the sign, and after that, we flip the second fraction. Now we have a new expression, 8 times 5 over 4, then times 20. Now we can divide it 8 and 4 by 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. And 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Now we have 2 times 5, then times 20. 2 times 5 equals 10. Now we have 10 times 20, and 10 times 20 equals 200. The final answer of this question equals 200. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. In this question, we have open parentheses, 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 2 close parentheses, minus 3 then times 2 to the power of 2, then over 3 to the power of 2 plus open parentheses 1 plus 1 close parentheses then times 2. Can you solve this question? In this question, we have exponent, parentheses, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations, and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. As you know, in this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Let's simplify and solve this question step by step together. In the numerator, we have 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 2, then minus 3 times 2 to the power of 2. And in the denominator, we have 3 to the power of 2, then plus open parentheses, 1 plus 1, close parentheses, then times 2. Okay, guys, according to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify the parentheses. Inside the first parentheses, we have parentheses, exponent, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. First, we simplify these parentheses. 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. And 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. Now we have 4 plus 9 minus 3, then times 2 to the power of 2. Again, we have parentheses, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and exponent. First, we simplify these parentheses. 4 plus 9 equals 13. 13 minus 3, then times 2 to the power of 2. Now we have subtraction, multiplication, and exponent. In this step, we simplify this exponent. 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. Now we have 13 minus 3, then times 4. Okay guys, now we have subtraction and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 3 times 4 equals negative 12. Now inside these parentheses, we have 13 minus 12. 13 minus 12 equals 1. And the final answer of first parentheses equals 1. Now the question is 1 divided by open parentheses 3 to the power of 2 
plus open parenthesis 1 plus 1 close parenthesis then times 2 close parenthesis. Again we simplify these parenthesis. Inside these parenthesis we have exponent, addition, and other parenthesis and multiplication. First we simplify these parenthesis. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Now we have 3 to the power of 2 plus 2 then times 2. Okay guys, again we have exponent, addition and multiplication. First we simplify this exponent. 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. Now we have 9 plus 2 then times 2. Now we have addition and multiplication. First we simplify this multiplication. 2 times 2 equals 4. Now we have 9 plus 4 and 9 plus 4 equals 13. The final answer of second parenthesis equals 13. Now the question is 1 divided by 13 and 1 divided by 13 equals 1 over 13. The final answer of this question equals 1 over 13. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. 7 times open parenthesis 1 plus 1 close parenthesis then all of them to the power of 3 minus open parenthesis 2 plus 1 close parenthesis then all of them to the power of 2 times 7. What is the answer of this question? In the wrong way of solving this question, some people solve this question like this. 7 times 2 to the power of 3 which equals 8 then minus 3 to the power of 2 which equals 9 times 7. 7 times 8 equals 56. 56 minus 9 then times 7. The question is 56 minus 9 then times 7. 56 minus 9 equals 47. 47 times 7 equals 329. They say the final answer of this question equals 329. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question a step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority. Also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. And when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 7 times 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 plus 1 which equals 3 to the power of 2 then times 7. In this step we have multiplication, exponent and subtraction. First we simplify this exponent. 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. Now we have 7 times 8 minus 3 to the power of 2 which equals 9 then times 7. Now the question is 7 times 8 minus 9 times 7. Now we have multiplication and subtraction. First we do this multiplication. 7 times 8 equals 56. Now we have 56 minus 9, then times 7. Again, we have subtraction and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication, because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 9 times 7 equals negative 63. Now the question is 56 minus 63. 56 minus 63 equals negative 7. And the final answer of this question equals negative 7. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Goodbye.